Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make this twirl seed beads bracelet. It's easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make it by yourself. If you're new here consider subscribing with the bell. In this way you will receive more and more free tutorials like this and there is a matching earrings tutorial that you will see down there in description of the link so you could do a beautiful set for yourself please like share and comment you help me so much check description for useful resources and you might want to support me in paypal or by becoming a member the last one comes with perks that you could see in the link in description now without further ado let's get started with the list of the materials okay guys so what i'm using here for this video are five colors of 11 o seed beads or you could use 10 o seed beads if you want they are black orange white red and yellow i'm using here lobster's claw clasp and a jump ring you could use other type of clasp you like here this is nymo nylon thread which is size d 0.3 millimeters of thickness and by the way you could check description for full list of materials my facebook page where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials i will be so happy to see it and also you might consider supporting me in paypal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks and a course absolutely ads free of five peyote stitch videos a lot of work goes here in these videos so thank to all of you that support me here i'm using size 10 beading needle you could use size 11 or 12 as well these are scissors and these are flat nose pliers that i use to attach my jump ring to my work and now i'm going to take about three feet of thread on my needle which is about 90 centimeters and i'll be back okay guys and i'm going to start my work by picking up 12 of these beautiful black beads okay i have my 12 here on my needle and i'm going to slide those down here i will stick my needle in my mat and what i want to do is to make a secure knot and how i do this i make a loop and i go twice through the loop i've made then i pull gently and carefully okay like this and then i will make one more knot and i have these guys now what i want to do is go through some beads in this direction And I'm going to pick up two orange beads and one white bead. And as I'm exiting here, I skip the next bead and I go through the following. Then I take two red beads and one yellow. I skip the one that's on my way and I go through the following. Then two orange, one white skip the next one go in the following and i'm repeating this process until the end of this row alternating the colors red and yellow two reds one yellow two orange beads, one white and two reds, one yellow okay, now I have this colorful circle and what I want to do is go through these orange beads in this direction and I'm going to take one bead of the color I'm exiting out of and two beads of my next color which is white and I go here through the red one 
then again one bit of the color I'm exiting out of plus two of my next color which is yellow and I go through the orange okay then again one orange two whites go in the red one red two yellows go in the orange one orange two whites go in the red one red two yellows go in the orange okay now i have this then in my next step what i want to do is go here to the end of my orange color so i'm going through one orange and what i need to add are two orange beads and one black bead and i'm going here in the last white then what i want to take are two white and one black and you see here in this row i'm going to be taking the color i'm exiting out of two beads of it and one black okay so here i'm exiting out of white so i'm adding two whites and one black and go in the next bead which is red and from here on i need two reds and one black and i go here in the yellow which is my next color and here you know what you need to add two of the color you're exiting out of plus one black and go in the orange then again two of the color you're exiting out of plus one black okay now i'll show you faster until the end of this row Okay guys and here I am at my last step and pay attention where you go here through the fourth orange counting from the center because here you have additional beads from the beginning of this row don't make the mistake to go through this one okay then go through the next two orange beads now in the next row i'm going to repeat absolutely the same thing guys i go here through these two orange beads so i go until the end of my color i take two orange beads and one black and i go in the last bead of my next color which is white here i take two white beads and one black and I go in the next red one then I take two reds and one black and I go in the next which is yellow and I think you got the idea it is absolutely the same thing like in the previous row so I will let you do this by yourself color you're exiting out of plus one black and continue this and meet me here at this side okay guys and here i am at my last step where i need to add my last two yellows one black from this row okay and now what i want to do is go through these orange beads in this direction again i reach the end of this color this time i need three orange beads one black and i'm doing absolutely the same thing going through the last bead of my next color okay three white beads one black 
go in the last bead of my next color. Three red beads, one black, go in the last bead of my next color, which is yellow. Three yellows, one black, go in the orange. Okay, and I will continue this and meet you here. Okay, and here I am at my last step where I need to add my last three beads plus one black in this row. Okay. Now I will do an additional step, guys, here to finish this element. I will go through two of those three beads that I added in my previous row. And I'm going to take just one orange and go through the orange, black and following white just to save time. And I pull. Then what I do is that I go through the next two white beads. Take just one white and go in the next three beads, white, black and red. In this way I'm forming angles here and I like it better this way. So I go through two orange beads, uh, sorry, red beads, take one red and go in the next three. Okay guys, and I'm going to continue this until the end. Go through two, add one, go through three, go through two, add one, go through three. And I will meet you here at this side. Okay guys, and I'm here where I need to add my last yellow bead from this row. Okay, I add it like this. Now what I want to do is exit here in this direction and through this orange bead. And what we did here, guys, is one of the elements that I'm going to be using for my bracelet. I will need six of them. Now, I will make another one, guys, just like this one, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, and what I did is another element, absolutely the same element like this. And you see, I still haven't cut the thread of those elements because I'm going to need this to connect them and to attach my clasp to the first one of them. Okay, I'll put one of those aside for a moment because I will show you first how I'm attaching my clasp with this thread that I have here. I'm going to take two black beads, then I'm going to take my clasp and then two more black beads. And as I'm exiting here through this orange bead, I'm going through the white one that is just next to the top. And I pull. Now I'm going to reinforce this. After that I go here at this corner and what I want to do is make a knot and cut my thread. Okay, I'm making here a loop. I'm going twice through the loop I've made. I pull. I go in the next bead. You could repeat this knot several more times. When you're ready you go through the next one or two beads and then cut your thread. Okay, now I have this. Okay guys, and now it's time to take my next element. I still haven't cut the thread of this element. Now, what I want to do is to find the opposite two uh, angles of those where I attached my clasp. And I will connect them with these with these two angles here, the orange and the white angle. And how I do this, I take a black bead and here you see this is the orange of my second element and this is the yellow of my first element and I go like this. Okay, 
Then I'm going to take another black one and I go here in this orange. Now you see it's all connected but what I want to do is reinforce this connection. Okay. Then I want to transfer to the other side and turn your work the way it's easier for you guys. Okay, I'm going here through this white one and I want to connect it to this red one. How I do this, I take one black bead and exiting out of the white, I go in the red one. Add another black and go here in the white. Now I will go here at the angle, make a knot and cut my thread. Then I'm going to make one more of those elements without cutting my thread and I will attach it here and I will continue this until I have my six elements that I mentioned and then I'll be back to tell you how to finish your bracelet. Okay guys, and as I continued beading, this is what I have. I have my six elements attached. By the way, here at my last step, I have just attached this sixth element here. I had to use my pliers for this one because uh, as I was reinforcing the thread is too tight. Okay. Now what I want to do is go through all of those beads and exit here at the opposite side. And I won't bore you watching me go through those beads, but I'll meet you here at this side. Okay guys, and as I went through all of my beads like this, now I'm here next to the white one that is sticking out the most. And I'm going to take five black beads and I will go here through these two red beads in this direction and I'm going to pull. Now I'm going to reinforce, make a knot and cut my thread off camera and I'll be back. Okay, and now after I reinforced, made a knot and cut my thread as I said, now what I want to do is to attach my jump ring. I'm opening this one up. I go here and then I squeeze back the same way I opened it and you see my twist stitch seed beads bracelet is ready. Now my colorful twirl seed beads bracelet is ready. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button. And in this way, you won't miss a thing. Don't forget that I, that I also have matching earrings and you could do a full set if you want. Thank to all of you that like, share and comment. This is such a great and amazing support, guys. Check description for useful resources and you might want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And the last one comes with perks that you might want to check out in the link in description. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye for me.